Now let's come back after your hello. I'll can see over in this chapter. Let's see if further if I have some other. I'll try to do with the, those also. Let's come back and see. Start with your uh, differentiation or distinguishing test between phenols, methanol, and ethanol. Done. So this is an aromatic ring, aliphatic as as well, aliphatic. But here you have one carbon atom. Here you have two carbon atoms with alcohol. So the test, which the different test which we are going to do is suppose in the exam if you don't remember the reaction, you just basically know the reaction, the distinguishing test. I'll, I'm just going to show you how to write in the paper. Now litmus test. What am I going to do? Suppose if I have to do the litmus test, here you're going to write in words, right? Take a small amount of the given sample, and just as you do it in your salt analysis, say say or functional group analysis, small amount of the analysis, uh, this is a compound, given compound, and you're going to dip in a blue litmus paper. So I'm going to take blue litmus paper. So when I take blue litmus paper, if it is phenol. Blue litmus being acidic in nature. Blue litmus turns red. This is the condition here. When I say methanol, no effect. This is how we are going to write in full words. Here also say no effect. Right now, when I have to take solubility, how should I write? Take a small amount of the given sample in a test tube and add few ml of water and test for its solubility. Done. So this is also soluble. This is also soluble. This is also soluble. How will you differentiate? Right? Yeah. This is soluble. Okay, partially soluble, but forms, but forms two layers. Oh, right. Partially soluble, but forms two layers. Here you also this is going to this is soluble and forms one layer. This is also same almost similar. Done. So FeCl3, neutral FeCl3. Take a given amount of the sample and add neutral FeCl3 to this. So neutral FeCl3 we very well know you would have done your near practical examination also. So neutral FeCl3 when I dissolve the given sample you are going to get either. Uh, if I have to say, like uh, the color of neutral FeCl3 is going to uh, change into either blue color or green or violet coloration is observed. This is the color differentiation I am showing you. Violet coloration is observed. Now, here uh, when I have to say there is no effect here, there is no effect. Don't put dash, please write full words. No effect observed. So, bromine water. Take a small amount of the given sample and add bromine water to that. So, the decoloration or the formation of precipitate is, is the most important. So, phenol, when you add bromine water, it's going to form white PPT. White PPT is observed. So here when I speak about methanol, ethanol, no effect. I am writing here also no effect. No effect. Here also no effect. Here also no effect. Here same. No effect. Done. Coupling reaction. So what do we do? Coupling reaction. We are going to take the sample, right? Whichever sample, phenol, uh, methanol, ethanol. So we are going to take. I hope you would have done this. Uh, in ice cold, we are going to take that BDC, benzene diazonium chloride, and why we are going to place it in ice cold solution. Ice cold uh, in a beaker containing ice cubes. You place the BDC solution, and you are going to add this sample, which is also in ice cold, and try to add in this particular thing, right? So now. I want to tell you this bromine water test. You're going to write, observe white PPT. Why? What is the formation? 246 tribromophenol because of the formation of 246 tribromophenol. Okay, um, I have not done told that now. In coupling reaction, I said you're going to take ice cold uh, solution of BDC plus ice cold sample. So, when you add both of these, you're going to observe the formation of either yellow or formation of uh, red or formation of if I have to say or yellow orange red type orange also orange PPT is observed PPT is observed then here this is the way of writing if you don't remember the reactions now when I have to come to this no effect and no effect so these are the distinguishing tests we have uh, two more or three more let us come back and do those Let's come back and see the next two differentiation tests for phenol, methanol, ether, ethanol. So this is called Lieberman's test. Hope you would have done in your uh, lab that. So in Lieberman's test, what do you do? You're going to take the sample, either this one, that one, or this one. So 
to this sample what do you do you're going to add concentrated h2so4 and to this concentrated h2so4 you're going to add nano2 also sodium nitrite then what do you get you get a dark colored mass dark colored mass correct to this dark colored mass now you are going to add sodium hydroxide done when you add this you are going to get for phenol if it is present in the sample you are going to get intense blue color intense blue or green color compound green colored compound oh, so done green colored compound rather intense blue or green colored uh, compound is formed but here no effect or no color is observed no color is observed here also same suppose if i have to do iodoform test in iodoform test where we uh, we tested for uh, compounds having methyl ketone right done now observe carefully here in this particular thing whether these will respond in iodoform test what do you do you're going to take the sample and you're going to add iodine solution to this along with an alkali then this is a test so when i have to see phenol no it will not show we said it should, it should have a methyl ketone or a uh, group or the oxygen adjacent to that should they should be in methyl group done so phenol there is no concept only so no okay no what should i write okay let me start from here then i'll come back to write with the precipitate or compound right um when i have to see uh, methanol here also no i have to write with the precipitate or compound what is formed but in ethanol when i take now this is ch3 ch2oh now done you have an oxygen group adjacent to this so what it's going to observe you're going to observe in either form test an yellow crystalline compound is observed an yellow crystalline compound what is that compound called it is called iodoform iodoform is observed now what will i come back and write here yellow crystal no colored compound is formed i'll write that here also no colored compound is formed or no effect no colored compound is formed so basically you should remember whenever you are writing precipitate here try to write no precipitate observed no precipitate observed suppose if you are writing a compound here colored compound no colored compound observed no color that means you are comparing between this one and this one or this one and this one let's come back and do the next type of distinguishing test